So today we are going to discuss alkynes. It's uh, lab preparation and uh, its purification, physical properties and chemical properties. Now let's uh, look what is the meaning of alkynes. So it's an allopathic hydrocarbons that contain a triple bond or acetylenic bond between two carbon atoms are known as your alkynes. So we have discussed uh, alkenes with a double bond and alkenes with single bond. Now alkynes, they have triple covalent bond. That means the carbon and carbon are bonded with triple covalent bonds. So they form a homologous series. That means the same series with the general formula. This is the formula for C, uh, for alkynes, CNH, 2N minus 2. So where this N indicates number of carbons. So if you have two carbons in an alkyne, that is here ethyne, so how many hydrogens will be there? So you have to put the uh, value of N here, that means here 2, okay? So the formula will be C2H2. So this is the formula, general formula. So what are the sources of alkynes? So the natural gases and petroleum are the sources of alkynes. Now look at the physical properties. So acetylene is a colorless gas and its boiling point is 75, uh, minus 75 degrees Celsius. Okay. And the gas prepared from calcium carbide. Now this we will discuss when we uh, start the lab preparation. So the gas prepared from calcium carbide has a garlic order and it is highly soluble in organic sol uh, solvents like acetone and alcohol so they are highly soluble and they are partial uh, soluble in water now this is the lab preparation of ethane and these are the reactants this is uh, calcium carbide and water so when these two react it forms an ethane gas so i'm just going to show you a short clip of a lab preparation of ethane okay ethane with a double bond and uh, the other word for ethane is also known as your acetylene. An acetylenic bond means triple bond is also known as your acetylenic bond. For that reason, the name has been derived here, acetylene. So let's uh, watch the short clip of how uh, ethane gas is prepared in the lab. So water and calcium carbide is taken, okay, first. And uh, calcium carbide uh, pebbles will be present. Now these are first introduced in a test tube, then it's added with, added with water. It forms bubbles, okay, and this uh, in this test tube, the water is present, and the calcium carbide is first introduced uh, in this water. Then you'll notice effervescence of bubbles, that shows that the gas is formed. So oh, the bubbles. Now this is the reaction, the overall reaction, calcium carbide and water forming ethane gas here, okay. Now to check whether this is a gas formed, it's sealed. It is sealed here. Then after that, a burning splint is taken to identify whether that is a gas, ethane gas and organic gas. So with the help of the burning splint, the ethane ga gas will start to glow. It, so it burns here. So this is actually the black suit which you find here is your suit also known as suit. It's actually incomplete combustion. Now this is a very short uh, experiment. It is not pure form here. It contains impurities. So we are going to discuss the lab preparation of ethane gas and how it is actually made. Now this is how it looks like. This is the apparatus. This is your uh, conical flask or you can take a round bottom flux, uh, flask also. And this is the thistle funnel. So first calcium carbide is uh, present here. Okay, calcium carbide. Then after that you have to uh, introduce water and you have to fill this brim up to here of this label. And the reaction takes place. Now once it starts to bubble, that means the gas is getting formed. It is passed through this delivery tube. And you will notice there's one more container here. You can place a conical flask also here. And this conical flask should be composed with uh, acidified copper sulfate solution. This is your copper sulfate solution. The reason is there are impurities like phosphine. Okay, now that's impurities are going to get dissolved here. And the other impurities dissolves in this water. Now once it passes through these, this is also known as your throw with water, okay? And the gas is collected here. The gas is collected here. So this is how ethane gas is prepared in the lab. Now we are going to check the reactions, how it uh, how it takes place. Now this is the actual reaction. It's easy to remember. Now the valency of calcium is two. That means two electrons are present in outermost orbit. That's why I've made two dots here. Now the carbon's valency is four. So what we are going to do here is we are going to place three electrons here of this carbon and three electrons of this carbon here. So tetravalency, so the valency of carbon is four. So we have just made here three dots here of this electron 
of this carbon okay and this carbon with three electrons now what about one electron now one electron you place it here it's easy to make it here one electron of this carbon you make it here i'm showing you the actual bond so these carbons they are bonded with triple covalent bond okay these are bonded with each other here and here calcium has uh, extra electron two extra electrons now this carbon needs one more electron to be stable these are bonded see this is your triple covalent bond so this electron of this carbon and this electron of this calcium is going to bond here and similarly this electron is going to bond with this now this is how calcium carbonate look, looks like the formula the structure c a c 2 so this is derived from here so this is the structure now this is calcium carbonate and reacting with water so i'm going to break that water into h ions okay and oh ions here two molecules of water is required so h plus and oh ions here now once the water reacts with this calcium carbide the bond between these electron of this calcium and a bond of these electron of this carbon is going to break this is going to break here now once the bond breaks now we have calcium with its two electrons here so we are going to write here calcium with its two electrons okay now these hydroxyl ions which are negatively charged okay now these are going to bond with these electron of this calcium so these hydroxyl ion of this water will go and combine with these electron because the bond between this calcium and carbon is going to break so these hydroxyl ions will take these electrons so we have ca and how many oh ions are there so two so we are going to place here in this way so calcium hydroxide is formed now remaining we have here calcium uh, carbon with three bonds now the bond will break so these electrons will be free so it's not stable so it requires an electron so hydrogen is free here is available now this hydrogen needs one electron to be stable so it will go and combine with this carbon so hydrogen will come and form a bond here and these hydrogen of this water will go and form the bond out here so this is how the structure that means the chemical reaction takes place now this we can write as how many carbons are there we have two carbons okay this is a triple bond so two carbons means eth okay and triple bond means y n u i n so please uh, go through the previous video which i have made so y n i n is used so they have two carbons that's why you use the term eth so this is known as ethane or you can write this as c2 h2 and this is the reactions so you need to write okay now it is a triple bond so we are going to place a triple bond this is a uh, triple bond of here so this is your ethane and you can write this overall reaction as cac2 then plus two waters you can add here to h2o then after that you can write here directly uh, calcium hydroxide and c2h2 so this is the reaction for the uh, pure uh, lab preparations of ethane gas now this is collection and purification so the gas is collected by downward displacement of water since it is insoluble in water okay so the impurities like phosphine hydrogen sulfide ammonia and arsenic are formed due to contamination of calcium sulfide and calcium phosphide in calcium carbide so these are the impurities present so the impurities are absorbed in water so whereas the phosphine is absorbed by passing through acidified potassium dichromate solution or potassium uh, chromate here so we can use even uh, copper sulfate solutions also so the reason for this is to absorb the impurity which is that is uh, phosphine so another preparation is preparation of ethane from 1 comma 2 dibromoethane or ethylene dibromide so this is another example so how it is prepared from 1 comma 2 dibromoethane so i'm going to show you the structure in structure you'll get it more clearly so this is another preparation from 1 comma 2 dibromomethane so you have no the general rule for iupac so it's in the first position there is bromine here and second position there is bromine so that's why we write here one comma two dibromomethane okay now we are going to conduct this reaction so this is how uh, ethylene dibromide looks like or the other name is one comma two dibromoethane this is ethane okay now when these are bonded with potassium hydroxide by boiling it and these are alcoholic in nature so 
is an alcoholic in nature so a little bit of alcohol is also added here now what will happen first is the bond between these carbon and bromine is going to break so you need to break these bonds now we have here one electron of so this electron will go back to its carbon here and this electron will go back to its carbon so these are actually which was bonded with this bromine now what happens to this bromine now this bromine since they are negatively charged halogens now they will bond with potassium they need one electron this bromine is one electron so it will take from the potassium so it will form kbr similarly this br or will bond with this potassium hydroxide and it forms kbr so that's why we have written here 2 kbr so two potassium bromides are formed now next the bond between these hydrogen and carbon is also going to break this bond between hydrogen will break so the electrons will be back here to this carbon okay because the bond has been broken now we have available here free hydrogens here now these hydrogens now this one hydrogen will bond with this oh this is a positively charge so it attracts the negative ions so it forms water h2o similarly this hydrogen will bond with this oh of this potassium hydroxide and form water so we have two waters formed now what happens to these electrons now these electrons of this carbon they do not have pair now these electrons will bond with each other then it forms an ethane so the ethane formula is c2 so two carbons will be there okay then we have only two hydrogens here because this hydrogen has been removed as well as this bromine has also been removed now these electrons will bond each uh, with each together then it forms an ethane gas so this is another preparation of ethane 